الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم انجینئر منصور کمال فرام الجنت انجینئرنگ اکیڈمی ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ہاؤ ٹو سالو دا پرابلم اف ون لیئر تھیوری بٹ بیفور سالونگ دا کوسچن دا فرسٹ اسٹیپ اینڈ امپورٹنٹ اسٹیپ از ٹو ریڈ دا کوسچن ویری کیئرفلی ا ہوموجینس ہاف اسپیسڈ سبجیکٹ ٹو ٹو سرکولر لوڈز مینز دیر آر ڈول ٹائرز each 10 inch in diameter its mean their impact area radius is 5 inch and space 20 inch on center means the center to center are the dual space between the tire is 20 inch the pressure on the circular area is 50 psi the half space has elastic modulus of 10000 psi and a poisson ratio of 0.5 determine vertical stress strain and deflection at point a which is located 10 inch below the center of one circle before going into the solution the first step is to check the poisson ratio if the poisson ratio is 0.5 you have to use the charts if the poisson ratio is other than 0.5 either it is 0.45 either it is 0.55 either it is 0.6 so in that very situation you have to use the equations in solution our first step is to find out or to determine the input parameters and in one layer theory we have two input parameters one is r by a and the second one is z by a so first we find the input parameters for the left load as the point lies on the uh, central axis of the load so our r is equal to 0 r by a is equal to 0 and z by a z is 10 a is 5 So z by a is equal to 2. Now for the left load, r by a, r is 20 inch because the center to center space uh, between the tire is 20 inch. So r by a is equal to 4 and z by a remains the same. Our next step is to find out the stresses. In stresses, first we find the vertical stresses. For vertical stresses, our reference figure is 2.2 using the input parameters. How to use the figure 2.2? Let's see. figure 2.2 is used for the vertical stresses due to circular loading so how to use it first we find the vertical stress sigma z for the left load so for the left load our uh, input parameter z by a is to z by a remains the same for both so first input parameter is z by z by a which is 2 second input parameter is r by a indicating the lines r by a is equal to 0 so we get sigma z by q into 100 is approximately 28% so by doing the simple mathematical calculation we get that vertical stress for the left load is 14 psi now for the right load same input parameter z by a is equal to 2 remains the same r by a is 4 so we get sigma z by q into 100 which will be equal to approximately 0.76%. So by doing the simple mathematical calculation, we get that vertical stress for the right load is 0.38 psi. Hence from figure, vert uh, vertical stress for the left load is 14 psi and same for the right load which is 0.38 psi. So whenever there are dual wheels in a one layer theory, so we can we solve it through superposition by adding both the stresses for from for the left and right load. So we have a combined vertical stress at point A which is 14.38 psi. Same in case of the radial stresses, our reference figure is 2.3 using the input parameters. So same in the case of radial stress, our combined uh, radial stress at point A is 2.1 psi now for tangential stress same we use the reference figure 2.4 using the input parameters so our combined but tangential stress at point a is 0.8 psi but in case of tangential stress our right load is equal to 0 why let's see the figure figure 2.3 is used to find out the radial stress is due to circular loading whereas figure 2.4 is used to find out the tangential stress is due to circular loading in case of tangential stress is the upper limit of r by a is 2.5 but in our case r by a is 4 for the right load which exceeds 2.5 that's why we take it as a zero 
Our next step is to find the vertical strain. For vertical strain, we have simple equation that vertical strain is equal to 1 over elastic modulus into vertical stress minus Poisson ratio into radial stress plus tangential stress. We have values of each one. So we can simply put the values and get the required answer that vertical strain is equal to 0.001298.8. Now our final step is to find the vertical deflection. For vertical deflection, we have a reference figure 2.6 using the input parameter. Let's see the figure. For vertical deflection, we use figure 2.6. Uh, here we have a formula for vertical deflection that vertical deflection will be equal to tire pressure into impact radius divided by elastic modulus into F factor which is a deflection factor. How we get the values of F? So for the left load we have input parameters Z by A is equal to 2, R by A is equal to 0 so we get F which is approximately 0.68. Now in case of right load we have our z by a remains the same 2 r by a is equal to 4 so we get f is equal to 0 0.21 in vertical deflection equation we have the value of q a e and f so as i already explained that whenever there are dual wheel in one layer theory so we just simply do superposition we just add the factor f factor for both left and right load and put it in the well in the equation so we simply get our required vertical deflection at point a which is 0.022 inch hence these are the required results that is vertical stress vertical strain and vertical deflection here we have another example 2.2 which have a same exact data as 2.1 except that only the left loaded area exists and the poisson ratio is 0.3 determine the stresses strains and deflection at point a as the poisson ratio is 0.3 so we are going to use the equations these are the required equations which are mentioned in the huang book for these equations the input parameters are impact area radius which is a is equal to 5 inch depth is equal to 10 inch elastic modulus is 10,000 psi tire pressure is 50 psi and poisson ratio is 0 0.3 so we can simply put the values and by doing a simple mathematical calculation we get our required result so these are the required results for stresses trends and deflection at point a from the equation Jazakallah for watching the video.